Well, I'm being brave again. I've switched my recording thingy back to actually just capturing this window instead of the whole screen. So if the game crashes again, I can actually go ahead and restart uh, the recording on the game without being totally flustered and being worried that I'm currently with also intending to revealing a whole bunch of things that I didn't want to reveal uh, on accident. So we have armies raised somewhere. I think we're fighting there, these guys. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So let's finish doing that. They have pretty much no troops as far as I'm concerned and we just won. So we gain 150 prestige, 26 dread. We imprison this Duke Frendo, and yeah, there we go. I can see why that would give him a, head, a, a headache. So, uh, where are we at? What we're doing? How strong are we? We have a pressed claim here on the county of Brugge. And I'm still considering taking over a bunch of duchies around us. Galere is way too big by now. Frisia might work. Um, Transgerania, definitely. Holy War for the Duchy. That's the last thing I wanted to do before the whole other thing broke loose. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll bring in these troops here. Send them straight south. And last time this achievement up there popped up again, it crashed our game. So I hope this time it mightn't. Let's check our knights again. We haven't looked into our knights for a really, 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 really long time. So what do we have? We have 230 knights. That's good. And we definitely want to force people who don't like us too much. Um, we might want to forbid our dynastic members from joining here. But that also means we have too few knights again. So we'll force these here. And we could recruit someone else. And I think there's a 15 guy up here. And he only costs 50 gold. Hell yeah. That's, that's fantastic. And he will be a knight of ours. Going up to 8 out of 8. And let us continue our march onto the enemy. Who we catch... and destroy so we shall go ahead and siege but we're going to split our army in half most definitely and send back the ones that are not too good because they still cost us money we'll disband these and we earn money again see how easy that is Can I just raise my man at arms? Like, there should be a button for just raising my man, man at arms. Can I raise them from here? Because I would just like to raise these. Can we? Let's move the rally point down here. But can't I just raise a certain... I just want to rally my men at arms. That, I, I would love to do that. But I'm not allowed. The game isn't allowing me. So let's go siege a bit more. I don't think anyone's coming to join them. Uh, uh, she can be forgiving. It's virtuous. What do we have? Prisoners can be ransomed. This guy is a nobody. So you can have him back. We could ransom our dear, dear prisoner. What is this? My brother had the priest brought forth for the renovation and judgment of a grand conspiracy. However, when the priest refused to confess, Prince Antoine had absolutely no evidence for this. <laughs> it 
So we can spend a whole lot of uh, piety and gain dread, but... Well, thank you. I would like to revoke this, but this is a act of something, so... We'll just have to see. Why is this going down? Oh, he went south. He's sieging our stuff. Smart. But not smart enough. Demands shall be enforced. Oops. Be disbanded. And now we hold Bern and Biel. And I assume we can create the Duchy of Transjordania. Except for the fact that we actually don't have the money for it. Curious boy. Our dear little heir. Um, let's check our decisions here. Is there something interesting we can do? We could go on a pilgrimage. But I think first we should take care of uh, these two titles here. So who do we have who we could give titles to? Um... You look a little bit scared. Oh, you're a bleeder and you're craven, so... Understand why you might look a little bit scared. Mm -mm -mm. Who shall we give stuff to? Do you have kids? You have a boy. But your boy is probably also... Your heir. Yes, he is. But you have another boy. Who is the heir to the county of Liege? We could give him Aragau and Bern. Let's give him Arag Aragau and Bern. <clears throat> And I would like to demand a conversion from you. Speaking of which, dear vassals, might, might accept. Let's see what the first guy wants. Blessed be God. Just did it, I think. He also just did it. Come on, everyone, just convert. 3% might accept. Mm, yeah, why, why am I not convinced? Uh, right. Where are we at? Intimidated vassal tax contribution, terrified, intimidated. Okay, so by being fearsome, they give me more. That's pretty neat. <laughs> So she comes of age and is a grey eminence. Sealing our alliance with the Duchy of Thuringen. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pronounce this in English. It has a name, it's Thuringen, and I'm not going to do Thuringia. Because that's, that's silly, okay? That's Thuringen, and you better like it. I mean, I can demand he convert and thus free him. Let's have this alliance down there.
Uh, yeah, I would like to accept your ransom offers there. A call to war. Thüringen calls us to war. Defender. You're having some sort of tyranny war fought against you and it looks like you're pretty well off on your own there. I need, I need to rework all these uh, rally points, okay? Let's do that. Let's rework all our rally points, which is probably easier from here. So, we have one here, we have one there. This one is kind of useless by now. So let's move it over to here. We got one there, which is nice. Got one at home in Paris. And we got one here pretty centrally. And we got one there, which is kind of useless. So let's move that one over to where could we use one? Maybe here? There? And where else could we use one? And down there. I feel like one kind of central in case of a, of, of, of a rebellion or something. So let's put one here as well. I wonder how many we can have. Uh, let's create that duchy title there for glory. And we shall give it to the boy. Shall have the Duchy of Transjordania. Enjoy, and then you can fight with this guy over there over who gets to get this thing. Sounds good. I think that sounds fantastic. Keeping it in the family. We are family. Bow bow. We'll raise all our troops here. Down down. I just want these guys and all my cool knights. Bow. So these are all our men at arms. And since they're split off now, the rest is not being raised. So if I check this, wait. Yeah. So now we only have our men at arms and no weird levy people. All our knights. All our men at arms. No weird levy people. Full maximum power of quality. And we can afford it. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Let's go here. He's fighting the man himself, so we can just go siege. Uh, give it a commander, though. Aggressive attacker. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so the siege was pretty much instantaneously done. Oh no, we're playing on a pretty high speed there. So instantaneous. Who are you fighting and for? Oh no, we died. Hey, game! Can you stop? Someone died here. Are you joking? King Alexius I of Champagne has found peace in Christ's embrace at 58 years of age. He died of natural causes, nor for his twisted conniving mind, he never revealed his true intentions to anybody, not even his closest friends. King Alessius ascends the throne, having no skills to... <laughs> well, he's... he's four. Okay, let us continue as... Uh, and also slow this thing down here, so be it. Um, right, so we have too many holdings right now, but we also still have holdings to give away. Um, what is control? Control measures the grip. Every county in the faction. Peasants. Peasants shall be fought. Fought. With an iron fist. So these guys are done over here. Probably. Mm. Okay, let's try and get our ally. Hello? Oh no, I'm. Okay, now I'm moving armies all of a sudden. 
Let's negotiate an alliance with Thüringen because we already had it before, so they're likely to want to get it again. Uh, I see you're fighting your neighbor there, and you're probably gonna lose. Not super ideal for it, is it? Alright, good stuff. Because he is actually our brother-in-law. Wait, wait just a moment. You are actually the Duke. And you... The, the, so, so your kid is going to inherit this thing. Oh, well, that's neat. I think his kid definitely, definitely needs a title then. Let's negotiate alliance with Franconia as well. I mean, they're right there. And they're willing. So why not do it? Marvelous. So we're already in a pretty good state again. Uh, we need to, of course, destroy this silly thing down here. We have one knight in this army, so let's see if maybe the peasants can kill our very unprofessional levy army. But that's how you get just your men-at-arms into a battle. You start them, you split them off, and you throw the levies in their own thing, and then everyone is kind of happy. Speaking of everyone is kind of happy. Don't have children yet. You. You have children. Our unmarried cousin. Wheezing, he has a tiny penalty. So you're not at my court. The hum, hmm, hum, 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 hum. hum. I wish I could sort these still. Can't even sort them by clicking on that. <clears throat> our courtier, our courtier, our courtier. He's 58. Let's give him a title. Let's give him um, Macon. There you go. Bringing us back down to where we should be. And we can propose an alliance with the county of Breisgau. Or we are being proposed this alliance. Okay, you can marry. You are my mother, a treacherous villain. Well, she fit her husband nicely. Well, okay. It's at least within the house. Who's the Duchy of Lower Lorraine? Oh! Still can't do that. Wish I could. He's such... He has such a nice claim. It's for the whole kingdom, I think. 
That wouldn't even help us anyway. Now if I usurped the kingdom of Lothringia, that would probably splinter them and give me some more claims up here that I could press. I would say. But I would lose the kingdom of Lothringia. Pretty much next thing I die. And people are very likely to want to kill me. Since I am a child and everything. So let's see. Factions. Once independence from our liege. Can't sway him. Can't imprison anyone. Hmm. We'll just hope that we get enough money to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Who are we betrothed to? He's just good. Okay, let's break this betrothal here. And check the factions again. 42%, 40%. See, us and her will not accept. He hates us and it's a patrilineal marriage. If we have a little bit better of a chance here. Oh, he's... He's even less inclined. You, maybe? You don't have anything. So, the only thing we have is to get some more outside help through alliances than Bavaria. How about all our neighbors over there? No, different faith. Can't negotiate an alliance here. Maybe get a marriage with our cousin? No. Should we go for Lothringia? But, but they have nothing. They're super weak. They're crazy weak. Maybe the petty kingdom of Galair? Don't have anything. Hey, Aquitaine, you probably don't want to because we're a different faith, aren't you? Yeah, that's a thousand times no. Lombardia, not bad. And you have nothing. Who's your heir? This guy. And you're almost on your deathbed anyway. Doesn't work though. Let's see. No. Catholicism is really not willing to work together here. Let's see, who do you got? 3,700. 2,000. So maybe we can get a marriage here. No. Alliance power. And Duchy of East Franconia already got that. Could get the Earldom of Suffolk. Duchy of Luxembourg. Of Essex, this is all kind of internal. Frankfurt, that's a little bit too small. Hmm. Let's see, are there more factions here? Orleans. Oh, 
will not accept different faith. <laughs> Don't have a hook on him. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Let's go with a quick one. It doesn't give us anything but some prestige. Ah, that's a shame. Real shame. I mean, we got two alliances going outside the realm. So once they break and try to attack us, we are somewhat ready. Only somewhat. I don't really have any great chance of doing anything. There's another one there. Policism is hostile. Policism is evil. Foreign culture. Let's just demand conversion from all of these. Let's see what they want in return. Let's see what happens. Okay. Nope, he hates us more. Which, yep, he hates us also more. No. Okay, he would take it, but I doubt he'd get out of the thing. And that would really cut into our stuff. Uh, let's do it. It's probably the wrong decision. Okay, wait, I can imprison him now? Can I also imprison this guy? No. Imprison this guy. That's all. Who is in here who's not strong? This guy gets on the council. Probably doesn't help anything. And this guy also gets on the council and this guy we imprison. He will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled vassals, so probably everyone. I don't know how many other disgruntled vassals exist here. There's a whole bunch as you can tell. Oh, God. Might succeed 25%. That's not good. Let's force it. Let's try our hand. Okay, let's just... Let's just see. Things are probably going to be bad. I think... Uh, yeah, things are going to be bad. There's going to be war. Yep. There's war now. Okay, so we have the enemy rallying here. So we shall use this rally point here. And we shall split off a new army. Move all these over here. Select this army and immediately start marching on them. Because they will form an army inevitably. 
And we also want to raise everyone else still. And we definitely want to call in our allies here. East Franconia. Bye, Scal. Everyone. <laughs> everyone come in here. not be able to afford this very long and he's just getting away come on catch definitely are you kidding me no catching how am i not catching these okay we'll we'll go join up with our allies up there we will um station besiegers from these and just move this army around here so we can have multiple sieges going we hope we can reach this battle split of besieges We have joined battle at the last moment. They're probably going south or they are joining up south. Ah, they have returned so now we need to turn south immediately. Otherwise we might lose our troops here. Okay, let's pull everyone together. Oh no. Oh no, we're losing money now. Okay, we need to win this siege. <laughs> to not lose money. They aren't going to attack here, so we are going to turn around here. And go north again, I suppose. And we hope that we earn enough money from the siege to actually be able to maintain our troops. Ooh, that's not gonna go well. I would I'll keep moving and do get my uncle as a leader our allies will come in eventually come on now win this win this siege you fools okay that wasn't enough money uh let's split them stand on half which is fine set these guys there have engaged in battle our allies join and we we'll do this again and now we use these troops and walk them here in hopes that our allies join us can you not? Yeah. He's joining up with his troops. Definitely doing something. He's trying to come for me. Um, yeah. Borough of Petersburg. Where is that? Up there. Granted, have it, enjoy, thanks for the money. Come on allies, join us. Turn the tile. Yeah, okay. I'd looked for a second that they're walking onto the tile but not joining the battle. That would have um, been a tiny wee bit annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Everyone is kind of open here for jobs. Our marshal.
You're not good at it. Well, you're a decent steward. Are you good at anything? Yeah, you're a good marshal. So you re reassign here and you go here. Hey, everyone, everyone got a good deal? Everyone in enjoying themselves? Everyone happy now? And another dangerous faction. Let's just hope they don't attack my weird levies here. No, it looks like they're definitely going to attack my weird levies here. I will not be threatened. So another... I mean, we're basically at war with everyone at this point. Um... Luckily, everyone seems still kind of inclined to help us in our dear <laughs> in our wars there <sighs> my goodness that's an all-out rebellion if i have ever seen one uh can we raise more troops now that we have a little bit of money there let's see what we can raise over there Looks like we actually did get some people, but that means right now in the south our levies are super weakened. Ah, they're not gonna win that one. And they're not gonna win that one. They're running straight into the enemy. Good, good, good stuff. And I can't stand them down either. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I'm losing all my troops, basically. Because I'm not looking where they're going. Uh, but hopefully my allies are kind of cleaning up after my mistakes there. Definitely looks like they're coming to try, at least. Where do I have troops still? there in Paris. So we won this battle here. Let's go there and bring these over there as well. Could go for a white piece here. Which they will accept. Everyone can be rightfully imprisoned. Let's try and get one war done. Even if it's just a white piece. Right, right, right. Do we have a rally point over here? We do. Let's raise everyone there. No, I'm not trying to move you there. I'm trying to move you here. Okay, so... This is what's left of this enemy. Right now. Bad because they're kind of moving on my poor troops there. <laughs> they're just trying to get away. Come on, man. You can do it. Run. And keep running. Do not look back. Our allies will inevitably come along and potentially help a little bit. It looks like the enemy, uh, the allied armies are arriving now. What? That's not, that's not the button I pressed. I wanted to group my troops. What, what am I looking at here? The enemy is sending their armies over the channel now. 
We have taken one capital in Trier. So now we must go and defend here. They are fighting rebellion, it looks like. I'm expecting someone to assault Paris. Or Paris, as it's known to, uh, you know, all those non francophiles. Anyway, which vassals do we now have in custody? <laughs> Uh, okay, we need a new steward. Cool. We put him in here. And our marshal. No strong vassal who is a halfway good marshal. already assigned why are you my spy master though he probably got himself into that position he's a terrible spy master <laughs> no good we'll put this guy there disrupt schemes please Keep me alive, boy. And you really need to go convert people. Go convert in... Did we lose a bit up here? It looks like we lost a bit up there. I'm just imagining things. Go and just convert there. I don't know what that is. Just go and convert. These are unfriendly, but not enemies. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, allies just beat them in the north there. Where are you guys going? No. I will be nice to that girl. I mean, our allies seem to be following us. That's the operative word. They seem to be. See? I would have gone ahead and just attacked. But they're doing weird, weird stuff. So I hope they follow me into battle now. It looks like they did. Very good. We have a wounded vassal, that's not ideal. Wait a minute. Dear knights. Okay, everyone who hates us needs to definitely be a knight and potentially die. <laughs> For the glory of this house. Our glory is widely known. It better be. So we need to defeat this rebellion. It was fine that we didn't fully defeat the other one. But this one has almost all our vassals in it. We need to defeat it. We need that boost. We have inherited a barony. It's probably not great as a signal. Our spy master died in battle. Let it be this lady because she's, I mean, she's not going to die in battle. Oh, 
We'll just go here. And apparently the enemy thought for a second about engaging us. Now we will fight them. Catching out a bit of them. Now we need to follow here. The way that this allied thing constantly twitches around makes me really nervous about leading troops because you just don't know if they're actually following you. Luckily they seem to do it for once, so... I mean they're going for the weakest link here, which is Entomp. The others are fairly well garrisoned. With that going. And we have captured a valuable hostage. Very good. That jumps our war score immediately to a good amount. It's just too much information coming in during a war. I think that's a big problem with messages here. <laughs> Look how everyone is beaten up during this war right now. The scandal. Look at them. Completely torn to shreds. Poor lady. We'll just siege this real quick. Hopefully get a little bit of a percentage out there. Well, 99, that's not bad. So the next seed should be it. There we go, we won. Very good. Very good. So, we imprison every rebellious vassal and gain a title revocation reason against them. The Liberty faction is disbanded and cannot be formed for the next 10 years, which uh, is very good for us. We, we gain tread. And as you can see, we imprison basically everyone. <laughs> every single vassal we have so be it and thank god for all those allies for once the allies really did their thing really really helped me oh goodness me what a thriller at the age of seven for our dear little catholic french boy who doesn't even have a good education focus you know what? Let's go. I mean, he's learning education. Let's try out the learning thing. Okay, we, we haven't done this. We have done uh, martial. We've done intrigue. We've done diplomacy. Let's do one that does learning. Because why the heck not? So we need to be good to our allies now because they have absolutely saved our throne and our kingdom and everything. So let's check our dear prisoners. Because we have them... A plenty now. Uh, revoke title. County of Auxerre. You know what? We'll just keep them all in prison. I think that's that's fine enough. Could we negotiate a release with you? Half the realm is in prison. That is insane. And you guys are also fighting a war there. Ay 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 ay. Twelve people can be ransomed. I don't think so. Aww, it is my kitty now. And it will be called Might or Meter. So, who do you. Duchess Litgard is dear to you. Okay, you can have your Duchess. I will give you your son. I am not a cruel lord. So who do you belong to, really? 
Who does this belong to du jour? Burgundy. Do I hold that? Do I want to hold that? Catholicism is hostile. I hold your du jour duchy. How about I give you the duchy of Burgundy and everything that goes with it and you convert. Sound good? What? Might accept. Oh. Fine. Let's grant these to people, to people we don't care about. Good Catholics know. I don't think he's a knight of us. This is to a low noble, and this goes to... I don't know. He's a resentful gentleman. And you get... These two vassals now. What? You can have Shalon. Maybe you Shalon. Do not. Oh, where did you vanish to? Did you just. Did you just die? Did you just die before I could demand conversion from you? So you now have this child here. Who hates us? How do I even hold the county of Auxerre? Can't ask him for another 10 years. At zero years old, he told us, no, nope, I'm not converting. At zero years old. I'm not thinking. And there's more dangerous factions again. Wait, I thought this faction wasn't allowed to form for 10 years. Are you kidding me? Oof. This is harsh, and I think we'll join back into this harsh life of young King Alexios II of Champagne next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.